If you're after an easy to use, fun and devastating Town Hall 12 attack strategy that involves loads of hogs but no queen walk, then guys, you're in the right place. Welcome to the channel and to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series. This is where we find the best attack strategies and we make them simple because I understand we're not all professionals. Some of us struggle with queen walk, some of us can't funnel properly, and some of you are like me. I'm four billion years old. I was on the comet that brought life to Earth. So yes, I need simple yet effective attack strategies. And Mass Hogs is just that. It's beautiful. We're going to check out some legendary replays in just a moment. I'll show you how to use it, talk you through everything. First of all, though, let's go check out the army composition. There it is at the bottom. 46 hogs, 5 wizards, 1 baby dragon, 1 loon, 1 ice golem. Your spell is going to be 2 scale spells, 1 poison, and 4 heal spells. Your clan castle troops are going to be all Valkyries or a Pekka and ice golem, and your donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell. Beautiful! So we're going to check out these replays in just a second, guys. Remember, if you are new to the channel and you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs, reviews, and Clash of Clans guides and Town Hall 13 coming up. Hit that subscribe button and join the Samus army. Also, if you want early access to behind the scenes news, consider joining the channel as a member. Plus, you get an awesome Samus badge. Link is in the video description. So, enough of me going on. Let's go and see this attack strategy in action and I'll explain how to use it. So guys, with any attack strategy, there's different stages to the attack. There's two stages to this attack, really. The first stage is expendable heroes. Your king and queen, you're going to lose them, and you want to take out as many high-value targets as you can with the king, the queen, the ice golem, a few supporting troops, and the wrecker. The second stage of the attack, guys, will be your grand warden and 46 hogs. Beautiful. So straight away, we're going to try and create a funnel. Your baby dragon on the left there with the balloon to search for mines, creating a left hand side of the funnel. Then we're going to put our king over here on the right. Don't be afraid to use a few wizards to help funnel, channel that king into the middle of that area. Then the wrecker down, ice golem as well. Very important to use your ice golem and then your queen. And that's going to push into the base now. CC troops are out, nasty dragons, poison them, and now it's just sort of watching and waiting and seeing how this unfolds. Use a rage spell if you need to, like so. And those guys are doing really well then. So, next stage of the attack, get ready with those Hog Riders and the Grand Warden when you think it's ready. The Town Hall has not been activated, so if you just leave things as they are, those Hog Riders are going to stream by the Town Hall and it's all going to go wrong. So I'm going to use one of my scale spells that should be used for taking out the enemy queen if it's still alive to activate the Town Hall. So look, a skill spell has been put on the Town Hall, activate it. Now the Hogs are going to go to the Town Hall and take it down. Also, keep an eye on your Grand Warden ability. Use it at just the right moment. Boom! Activated. Hogs are going to be all right. Yes. And now they've galloped past the Town Hall, uninjured. And now we can look at taking out the rest of the base. So it's looking pretty good so far. Two main uh, armies of hogs on the left and the right there. And a few randoms attacking that mortar. And then it's just watching. I've got one heal spell left. And it looks very healthy here. This looks like three stars in the bag. Put that heal spell right on that pocket of defences there. And boom. So yeah, guys. So hopefully you've seen the two stages of the attack there. First stage is critical. Using those heroes effectively to take out as much as you can. And then second stage, using the hogs and Grand Warden. And like I said, those two skeleton spells, they are sort of in reserve. That If you don't take down the enemy queen in stage one, you can drop them on the enemy queen. And two scale spells should take out the enemy queen. Be aware of walls though of course because the queen can be behind a wall and just take out all the skills. But anyway, if you take out the enemy queen first and you're in desperation, you need to activate that town hall, drop a skill spell on the town hall and your hogs will go to it. So next up we've got Buddy58. Hi Buddy, how are you doing? Uh, let's see if we can three star you. So yeah, I do find this tactic works very well against uh, bases with the town halls, anti-three star bases with the town halls towards the edge. So again, baby drag one side, king the other side, wizards helping the king out to push him into middle, ice golem down, wrecker down, queen down, following the same order as last time. And our objective here is to actually take out the town hall and then think about putting in the second stage of the attack. So CC troops are out. I've uh, just poisoned them. Sometimes I forget. The Queen's going to do a good job there. And that Town Hall looks like it will be taken down. That's great. Town Hall is activated. 
Peck is doing a good job there. There we go, Town Hall's down, stage one of the attack, and now it's thinking, where do I put down my hogs to be in, in with a chance of three stars? This base is perfect because look at the Inferno Towers, guys. They're single target. Any base that's using single target Inferno Towers is going to be really susceptible to be three starred by this attack. So we've still got those scale spells left, three heal spells, Grand Warden ability I've used nice and early. Bit too early, really, because I think the uh, Eagle Artillery might get a few hits on them. So, misjudgment there from Moose. But they're streaming into the middle of the base. And it does look rather easy when those Inferno Towers are on single. It really does help out. Still got one heal spell left. And a Solitary Wizard in reserve if we need him. So, yeah, it's going pretty well now. I think with this strategy, guys, it's just practice. Because it does take practice, you know, um, using the, the first stage of the attack is the most trickiest stage. You've really got to think about where to use your heroes. First off, I'd, I'd probably think about trying to take out the Town Hall with them, if you can. But of course, on centralised Town Hall bases, that isn't possible. So just look at the Eagle Artillery, Queen and CC troops. They are your priority. So there we go. This is pretty easy, to be honest. And mainly because of the multi-inferno target. Uh, Multi-target Infernos were not on this base. They were single target. So now it's just clean-up time again. Beautiful. Uh, the Hog Riders were nerfed recently, weren't they? They did have a bit of a health uh, nerf where they lost a bit of their health in one of the recent updates. But they're still a really good option. And it's so much fun. It's just different. Love it. So, guys, another three stars in the back. Let's go on to the next replay. So on this next replay, guys, I'll be attacking a base that I use on my second account in the Legendary. This base has performed brilliantly, over 20 attacks against it, and loads and loads of one-star attacks. People really struggle to get above one-star against this base. So how does Sir Moose do with mass hogs? Right, remember, you want to get max value out of your hero, so put my King, Queen, and Ice Golem in there with a Rage spell, and I'm going to try and take out the enemy Queen and the CC troops that are flying over their poison spell down. Let's see who we can take out get ready with those hogs don't be afraid to put them in nice and early boom we're not going for the town hall yet we're going to come back to the town hall later grand warden's down those hogs are split into two little uh attacking forces there some on the right some on the left hill spell down nice and early there around that bomb tower and they're going to push that central compartment now the hogs on the top right don't look too healthy i have forgot about them and they are all going to die so pushing into that main compartment there hill spell down and i've put those scale spells down just to help out distract things that king is chopping away and look what's that guys yes my wrecker is making it through the base i put it at the bottom to take out the eagle artillery and it's still going strong just use my grand warden ability now the hogs are going into that pocket there they're doing well i'm thinking now wrecker take down the town hall and hogs do not go left you will ignore the town hall. Do not go left because I've used my Grand Warden ability and you will all probably die. And what do they do? Yes, of course, they go left and take a bomb in the back. But they survived just. And now we're going after that multi-inferno, the last nasty defense. Well, there's a bomb tower. I guess that's nasty as well. Uh, but not as bad as those multi-infernos. And there we go, guys. Clean up now. This base, like I said, I use it on my second account. We'll be reviewing it shortly, so keep an eye out for that. It has performed brilliantly in the Legend League. Everybody's struggling with it, but as you can see, this is how you can take it out with Mass Hogs. Love it. Beautiful. Whoa. Ice Golem ejected from the arena. Love it. And there we go, quite a few troops left over against this pretty much max Town Hall 12 base, apart from the walls, of course. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today. I love making these attack strategy videos and this strategy for me is one of the best and most fun that I've looked at. So yeah, guys, give it a try. Don't give up on it. Keep practicing. It does take practice to perfect it, but you will get some beautiful three-star attacks if you keep at it. Remember, guys, if you are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Join the Samus Army. Lots of exciting things coming up. Loads more attack strategies and Town Hall 13 on the horizon. Yes. Beautiful. So, Samu signing out. Remember, guys, it's important to practice your funneling. Get up in the morning before you go to work, school, whatever you do. Practice your funneling. And before you go to bed at night, it's imperative. Guys, Samu signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys later.